Welcome everybody, my name is Phantom and this is a new series called Ups and Downs where we take a certain thing in Call of Duty Zombies and we look at the good points and the bad points to just see if it's a good thing or a bad thing overall. And I'll also try and put comedy in here because who doesn't like comedy, right? So in today's first episode we're going to be talking about the 80s theme to Zombies in Spaceland. So let's talk about the less serious side to Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now remember, this is my opinion, because I know this one's quite a controversial one, but it's 2016, look, here's a picture of the leak, I bet that offended someone, so just remember it's my opinion. So yes, Infinite Warfare Zombies has a very different feel to it than Treyarch Zombies, because you know, Treyarch Zombies is all serious, they build the characters up so you feel sorry for them, it's a zombie apocalypse, you're back in World War II where loads of people died and whatnot. And now, in Infinite Warfare Zombies, we're just in a, a theme park with little aliens. But in all seriousness, the Easter Egg boss fight is fighting one of these gooey aliens. So, is this less serious take on zombies a bad thing? And in my opinion, it's not. It's an up. It's, give it a green up. Because these dance moves are just amazing. Like, that's an up, guys. Okay, so now another point. With the 80s theme, we get our 80s themed characters. Now, just a quick reminder. This is what our characters actually look like, but when they go into the map or the film, they change to look like the characters that they were going to play a part as, so they're not always going to be the rapper, the nerd, stuff like that, they'll change it up when they go into different maps. But so far guys, I'm going to have to give these characters a down, because, I mean, there's not much to them, they're just, they're just 80s stereotypes, and even the stereotypes, in my opinion, aren't done well, like, they have some funny quotes, but... We don't know who these people are, they're not, they're not really characters if you know what I mean, they are, but they're not because they don't really have that much of a personality or backstory or something like that. So at this point we have one good point and we have one bad point, so let's look at something else to break the tie to see whether the 80s theme is a good thing or a bad thing. So I'm going to contradict myself a bit, before I said it was good that it's not serious, and yet it's good that it's not serious, however, I think it's a bit too much of a far cry from Treyarch Zombies in a way. Now, no, I'm not talking about Far Cry for game. Jesus Christ, dude, it's a saying, like, calm down, dude. So what I'm saying is, yes, it's good that it's funny, however, there's another bad point to the 80s feeling is, it's too different for the first map. This map would have been amazing if it was a DLC map, but the thing is, we went straight from serious Treyarch zombies into this, this map, so... I saw a lot of comments on bigger YouTubers' videos saying, this isn't zombies, what's happened to zombies, and... In a way, I agree, because, well, I don't agree, but I see where they're coming from, because it's a massive step, it's a ballsy move to go from, to just go in a completely different direction. So, in my opinion, from what we've talked about in this video, the 80s theme is a down, it's not a good thing, but, but, guys, don't dislike, I'm sorry. No, what I'm saying is, it's a good setting, but for the first ever map, and the only map, for launch, it's too different, it's a bit too big of a step, so it would be amazing if it was a DLC map, if we had like a jungle map or something to as the first map, and then we can get adjusted to this different theme, and then we go to an 80s one in a DLC, that would have been so much better. I hope you liked this video, because I think it's something very different, something very unique for the Zombies community, so if you did enjoy, leave a like, and subscribe for more videos like this, I guess. Thank you.